Hello, everyone. Diz lá, olá. Olá a todos, bem-vindos a mais um live. Hoje, num modo diferente, hoje estou aqui com a minha filha Alexandra. Ela está de falta de figuras da... Da quem? Da Games Workshop, ok, pronto, estás a ver. Uh, ela está a fazer umas figurinhas, como é que eles se chamam? Military Auxiliar Bulgarians, ok? Uh, estas aqui, é o que ela está a fazer neste momento, está a montá-las para seguir ir pintá-las. Uh, este formato vocês conseguem ver-nos aqui na câmara, apanhamos nós os dois e temos um plano da minha mesa e também temos, que eu vou passar, não é esta, o plano da Alexandra, portanto, é um dever, portanto, eu a trabalhar com a Alexandra. So, now in English, guys, uh, today I'm working here on my workbench with my daughter, Alexandra. It's working with figures from Games Workshop, and almost ready, and then you go to paint, but I think not today, all right? So, on my bench, okay, here it is, I got here the base of the V2 rocket and I put these uh, colors from Vallejo, I use the rust color, I use the dark brown and I use this one, this is a rust too, but it's um, a shiny, it's a, like a metal color, right? So is that why it's because this is very uh, bright you can see here but now i'm going to work with lots and lots of things so i'm going to work uh, like this like uh, weathering effects so i have lots of weathering effects right here i'm going to use uh, pigments too and i'm going to work with washes too so the washes and, and the weathering effect, it's going to be the, my pigment binder. But before, so I apply uh, this base rust. So let me go and put here for the, all right. Here I can see if you guys say something, right? Um, so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to protect with a little acrylic uh, varnish satin. This from Vallejo too. Then I will apply uh, the chipping medium. I will scratch uh, with this color, okay? The, the German dark yellow. So the base is going to be completely different. And I will try to make uh, heavy weathering because this is going to be um, very weather and it's going it's it's going to be abandoned so later i will put some vegetation right here right so let me just turn uh, my compressor and for the work i'm going to use my infinity from arden steinberg and i, I got here a uh, zero uh, point 0.4 needle uh, working with 1.8 bar okay so let me just put right here if you have some questions uh, so just ask me here on the chat and of course I will try to answer if I know that is the important thing here I got my air dryer I think you can see on the little camera it's a very important tool for me so it's right here so let's begin uh, with a little coat of the satin varnish and where I put and with the airbrush thinner so let's shake it and when I am doing the mix right uh, we'll go to the camera of my daughter. Oh, you are smoking. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So if you have something to say, it's right uh, now. Not really. 
Not really. Mm. You don't sleep too well, yeah? Mm. Okay, you don't sleep too well. But show something. Uh, so she's new on this, on the live stream, so it's going to be a little quiet. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So it's normal, go easy guys, with she, so this is done, so let's go back to my camera and start doing the varnish. Eu não sei se você nos consegue ver elas, agora, mas é que não, não sabes se vai ou não. Ah, estão pronto, olha, vem, vem todos aqui para o, para o vivo. Estes aqui já todos ao vivo. So, just a simple layer, not too much. So, just to protect this, what I put. Okay, you can see here uh, I got a little paint removed, but it's it's because of the frame. It's normal to have this. Again, I don't worry too much because of the fingers, because it's going to be rust, and I want this to have loads of texture. <coughs> the texture it's going to be very important, and I'm going to use an, a very nice thing. Uh, this one, you see, yep, you can see now, this is a rust texture, it's going to help a lot to have texture, okay, like I, I said, so let's clean the airbrush guys, sorry, I'm really sorry, so here is again, a shadow working, cutting, and you guys are thinking, how the hell she can work with that nails, yeah? <laughs> so I am cleaning and she is working. Okay, sorry about uh, this. And it's done. Now I can grab my air dryer. So you don't need me to see using the air dryer. Oh my God, I have this all around the wires. Sorry guys. Let's try not to make here a big mess. Okay, nice. And let's try this. You can see uh, I love a lot this uh, this varnish from Vallejo because they 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 really uh, dry real quickly. Okay, and I can work more with this. So now let's back again here and let me see if someone else says something. Okay, today you are very quiet, guys. Very quiet. But okay. Now, the chipping medium I'm going to use again with my air, air dryer. And now I'm going to talk about uh, the chipping medium. This chipping medium is very strong, guys. Okay, so you need to, if you want to go with the airbrush, you need to uh, thin it a little. Now, I can give you two ways to thin this. Okay, if you thin with the airbrush thinner, uh, it's going to remove more, okay? You're going to have a heavy chipping. But if you use water, it's going to be 
a more uh, controlled shipping okay you just go the just remove what you want okay it's not so random and with the thinner it's really random but I'm going I want a heavy shipping so for that I'm going to the airbrush thinner and the ratio of this it's a uh, 50 50 it's the way I use and for me it's great so let's put it in some drops So if I go with seven drops, now I'm going with the airbrush thinner. All right, and I'm going, of course, to mix this. You see, I like to make mixes on the cup, on these simple things, and Vallejo bottles are nice because they, uh, this is I drop, and so it helps a lot uh, controlling the mixtures I use. So let's go and let's start putting the mineral. Plus, I want to be more chipping, I put more of this fluid. Okay, here on the top of this, it's going to be more, and down there too. And as you can hear, it's a very damn thing. So, let me just flip this. So if you want, you can thin more. More you thin, more it's the, the shipping, it's not going to work so well, okay? But it's that why you can do a heavy shipping or a light shipping, it's up to you guys. And it's ready. Now I just go and clean. Uh, let's go again to Alessandra uh, bench. And I am cleaning my airbrush, guys. Now I'm going to try And as you can see, it dries real quickly too. So as you can see, when it's uh, loose, the shine, it's ready to go. Now, surface primer, all right? 
I'm going to use this and I'm going to use a little of the airbrush flow improver. It helps a lot for the color and I will put more thinner uh, for the heavy shipping on this. So the airbrush again. Let's shape this very well. All right. Uh, one of the trick I like, I put one drop of flow improver at the beginning. Okay, it's going to be right there on the bottom. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops of the color. Now I'm going to put six drops of this. And one more drop of the flow improver. Now let's mix this. Okie dokie. So let's go. Now with the main color. There is lots of parts here, it's going to be in metal and that parts I'm going to paint with a brush. Now let's go here. And before I paint this, I'm going to use the air dry right now. And it's happening what I want and I will show you then but let me just paint this side uh, just a little more of the color Good to go. So let's go again to Alexandra. And today we're just watching uh, sending. Okay. Mm -hmm. A very important step, guys. Sending. I know. Nobody wants to send, okay? And I am cleaning my airbrush. And it's nice. Now I think I'm not going to use any more uh, So just here now 
Eita. And yes. Okay. So let me see here. All right, you can see here on this part it start cracking and it's a nice thing for the heavy shipping you can see there it's a rough texture so it's good to go so for that i'm going to use uh, a flat brush and of course with water and let's act activate this so you just go with water put all you want to activate and you are just going okay you see I'm going to put more like this you see just dabbing with the point it starts crumbling yeah crumbling the paint now we are on this part let's go more harder you see this bubbling uh, this bubbling it's uh, a sign it's working You see how easy it is so because I use the thinner it's going to be more heavy if you use water it's more difficult to remove so it's a more control chipping and sometimes we can do techniques with um, you put chipping you put color then you go again and put more so just use your imagination and it works fantastic you see so 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 easy guys Now uh, here on the interior too, let's activate and start moving to. So I just go with uh, the first layer I put of water and it activates really quickly. If you go with a brush with the more stiff bristles, it's going to be more what you want. And if you want, you can just go with a toothpick, okay, and you just go and make some scratch. So it's up to you the way you want. So let me see. Nice. I want more here, so I put more going to be fantastic now for I'm going to start working on the interior so I need more water what the hell let me freeze It appears to in a camera. Really no. I think we got here some issue. Wow. 
by the camera. Uh, oops. Up. Yeah, the camera freeze, I don't know why. Let me try to see I can put again working. Yeah, the camera is out. And leave it, I don't know why. Yeah, it freeze. Web. So I'm going out and I'm going to enter again. Okay, just a second, guys. Sorry about that. So, Javi, Bruno, Chakpay, Jean Paul, Javi. Don't if he come and freeze. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay, I think we are back online. Yeah, let me see if I see my hand. Yep, sorry about that, guys. I think it's the internet with some problems here. So, you can see here what I am doing. It's removing uh, the chipping with water. And I start putting here water at the end. So, some parts here are can activate real quickly. We need water. So water is our friend. And you can see it's so easy. And the F's uh, the texture I want after every shipping. You see, oh, here, so easy. And if you, I just dev, okay, the paint will not go out and it's going to be lifted. You see here? Round and round. See, okay, I am putting more pressure here.
I love this color for the chipping. If you want more scratch at the bottom, just go with a toothpick like this. You see, it came out some parts of the paint, but don't worry uh, because when this is dry with the tweezer, you just remove what you want okay so more water now let's go here for this platform uh, foot put water and let's start chipping it came out so easily. Okay, now we got, let's work here around. You see how it's easy? Some parts of here it's going to be metal, then I'm probably going to paint the steel there. But the part of the paint, it's easy. He misses here the handles, but the handles, I put that on the end because I am very clumsy and I break. <laughs> Simple as that, guys. So you can see really easy to remove Want to lift? Just go make some marks and then go with the brush, it helps to lift. You can see it's still active, the RS, and it makes a very rough surface. So this can be here. Now let's work on the top of these two. Water all around. Like I let's always say, water is our friend. And 
paints, like I always say, work with very thin layers of paint because if you do some uh, things and you don't like it, you just go and paint again. Let's try not to break these parts. You guys, you can see it's so, so, so simple. More easier than this, I think there is not. Here on the interior. These parts, maybe it's it's sometimes it's better to go with a sponge. Now you're on the sides. Let's go to the back. You see there the interior? Guys, this is really simple. So when I put this, okay, yeah, let's look, use it, you <laughs> can see there. So now it's time to dry and protect this part of the work. Oh, let me just go here. To my daughter, yeah, it's continuing to work. O Apollo, tudo bem? Desculpe lá, este bocadinho, pá, que ficamos aí com, com problemas. Sorry guys, with that problem. I have, I have always uh, problems with... Uh, with a third camera, I don't know why. Now we are losing. The shine, so we are stopping.
Oh, almost died. When you have very thin, uh, when you have very thin um, parts like this, careful with the uh, hot of, of the air dryer. Maybe you can unglue this, and it's not really nice, right? I know that. So let me just take a look here. Okay. Uh, let's go again. Yeah. So now we can protect with another layer of varnish or not. So I want to create texture on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is not put the varnish because if peel some parts, it's going to be really good that happen. All right. So the first thing I'm going to use. It's a rust wash, and I'm going to use this one, the light rust. And I will make like a filter, so I'm going to use a cap for that. drops now I'm going to use water and I will put 12 drops now one of the tricks I'm going to use is just one drop of the varnish it's going to help to stick all these right now I'm going to use a flat brush. Uh, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to use this one from Vallejo. It's a very flat brush. To go the parts I want. And for that, let's mix this well. And First thing, I'm going to start on this piece and I'm going to start on the back to see how it's going to react. And so far, it's not peeling nothing again. So we need the first color like in real life when it starts having the first color it's always um, very clear not very strong the strong colors we go and use later okay so far i'm liking If you see this, the color, it's too strong, you just go and put more water so you thin more the color. But so far, I think this is going to be good. And when I end this first layer, I'll use the air dryer because the varnish will fix these in place and it's going to make the model more uh, easy to work so this is just like a filter grab a napkin remove the excess on the brush and gently cleaning and wiping okay So easy.
It is a uh, time consuming, yeah, but at the end it's going to have a really nice work here. Okay, now let's put that resting and let's go to the big one. Let me just see here, okay. El monolista. Si hablas español, no hay problema, te puedo hablar contigo. <laughs> Bienvenido. So, let's continue. Now, let's go here on the top, and you can see the change of the color. So, so awesome. It's that why I. I love this dark yellow because it makes all different when you are working with rust. Here you can leave just a little more of the wash. You can see the difference from the other part. So here on the flat surface, removing the excess. Not here on the teeth. Teeth. I'm sorry, my English today it's a little complicated. I don't know why. And as you can see, very convincing. Yeah. When I'm going now here, you are going to see it so the change. Mm -hmm. Too much on this area, so. You see the rust before I start putting the layers on the top, it was vibrant, now it starts to be dark. Now let's go. Before let's wipe. So just touching and wiping. This wash is uh, more thick because I put the varnish. It helps to dry more quickly and one of the things I want on this is to have more texture, right? Rust is all about texture, guys. So now let's start with the foods. And of course here on the sides too. So this wash it's almost like a very thin layer of paint. It's what it is.
Sometimes I a little concentrate, so if I don't see what you are writing there, sorry, but I will go and see. In some areas you can leave a little more of these. It's going to help to create the first layers of the rest. So I am and I am giving this heavily because it's going to be abandoned. So no problems. Now I'm go again just around the uh, the teeth. Put a little more there. So you can see it's dry really fast because I put the varnish, all right? So the varnish helps this a lot to dry. So I'm going to dry this with my air dryer and I'm going to the other camera, all right? You are continuing seeing my daughter sanding and sanding and sanding. Mm -hmm. Pedro, como é que estás? Tudo bem? Sim, este kit foi para montar. <risos> Graças. É um pouco pesado que eu estou fazendo. porque se va a quedar a abandonado, ¿vale? So now I'm going to use the air dryer. Sorry about the noise. I can show you. You see, the rust color is very subtle. I have here some deposits I left there, and you can see around here. I think it's good. Here it's not so heavy because I'm going to put another texture. Why? Because this is on top. Normally, it's going to be more heavy. I think. Now. I got two more wash rusts, uh, color rusts. I got here the rust only and the dark rust. So I'm just going to use the dark rust right now using the cap uh, of another rust. 
Now I'm going to put the areas I want to have more of the rust color. You see it's more dark. Now, again, varnish. Just one drop and one, two, three drops of water. Now I'm going to change the my brush. It's going to be with this point. It's not a a nice point, but it's what I want. It's to be random. So let's mix this, and you can see it's much darker now. Now I just go. And if I put here on the napkin, you can see the different tone. It's more reddish, right? So I go now on the parts I just want. So let me put here more close. And we are going to start here for you guys to see. So now I'm work, going to work on the darkest areas. Just like this, dabbing. If you see you have too much on the brush, just touch there, remove a little the excess and control. You see, I'm just working on the darkest. So the rust uh, spreads and stains, so you have too much problem with that. Now around here, feet of these and around here too. On the top too. And you start making a contrast on the other rest. Malta, como podem ver, está a fazer aqui uma diferença para as outras manchas que já tínhamos aqui da da ferrugem, que é isso que queremos. E, o, e aqui o, o verniz vai criar um bocado de textura. So, if you see areas e have too much, it's really easy. Just go, dab here on the napkin and just touch and the brush will suck <laughs> about the term but it will suck the excess of that okay you see now i'm going on on the bottom of this you can see this like oh, let me put like this on the way you can see so same thing Another thing, today when 
one of my friends asked me uh, the drying time of this because he was uh, making uh, streaking grinds and he have the problem because it starts to dry real quickly and I know that problem and you can use the Vallejo retarder for that give you more time but uh, for that you don't use uh, a varnish if you are not watching I think you are going to watch later so here's another tip for that and you see it's very vibrant but it will dry more uh, clear Because I like to paint watercolors, uh, I love to work with acrylics because it's almost like playing with watercolors. AKF that uh, pencils and they are watercolor they are really awesome that that pencil so it's almost like this you just put there and with the water you activate uh, the parts you want Now you see why sometimes we have lots of time to make a model. It's not so quickly because of this. And we are doing the first steps for this. So we have loads of things to put on the top of this, start working uh, the details, uh, putting more texture on this to be more realistic. And one of the things I like to do is take lots of uh, pictures and very, very close shots like that. I can see what I am doing right and of course the things I am doing wrong okay I take all this around just a little more here and and this area start um, here it starts let me try to see yeah like this starts to drying and it's going to be more clear and clear here I go more heavy and remove the excess randomly okay now let's work the feet the feet I'm going to do a complete wash because it's near to the ground it's going to have a more heavy rust So this is why sometimes I don't do this on my demos uh, because it's a very time consuming and doing this on the live streams you can 
see what I do. Now here on the interior, I'm going to put every two. You are not seeing my daughter, but he's working. <laughs> yep, more on the top, more strong right there. And as you can see, so simple. And the colors are really different. Now, uh, sorry, let's go again here. More. Sorry guys, you can see this later and go forward. Now here I am going to be a little more random and like I said, a little more strong. The most important part here using these products is not to leave the marks of the brush. So when you put this, it's nice, like you you are doing a chipping, yeah. And why I am using uh, the satin varnish? I have to, I want to have control, so if I want to have control, the varnish I put on the surface uh, on the next time helps me to work uh, nice and I don't have the problem of the matte varnish, when we, you put matte varnish it will stick a lot because it makes a very rough surface and I don't want that. You see so easy. Now on the bottom I'm going with the other brush and I'm go heavy. So this is the bottom guys. More rust accumulates right here here on the interior too of this ring and we are making layer by layer sorry out of the camera again You just can't see that it's so simple. And this is the way I do. I cannot say you guys it's the right way, all right? It's the way I feel comfortable to do. So yep, it's up to you guys. You can put more things, you can make them another way. Important it's the result uh, we have at the end. So now let's dry again. And let me just see. I'm done. You are done? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just let me see what. Olá, João. Obrigado. Uh, Going to the other camera of my daughter, yes, showing, show the guys, explain. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Speak. Not really, no. 
And you must speak more laws. Não tenho o que fazer. Em português? Queres dizer falar em português? Hum. Ela hoje não está nos dias dela. My daughter is not in these days. Where are you put the... Olha. Okay. Oh, Deus, que... Custou. What the hell? Custou. Não. Não. Plaste isso, tá? What the hell? So? We are searching for. Oh, it's right here. Right here, right so, here. So, e she done. And they are start writing to paint. Yeah. yeah. But it's going to paint on the another day. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll show you guys here again. You just go with your dryer and to see the result. You see how it turns the color on this when I start drying. Yeah, Let me, okay, just turn the camera, oh, too close <laughs> to me, all right, uh, for the today video we are done, say bye, so tomorrow uh, at same hour, yeah, we are continuing, I'm, I'm going to continue with the V2 uh, base for the V2 rocket and uh, my daughter is going to start painting the figures uh, tomorrow right so if you guys like figures uh, on the chat just say I want to see Alexander and you see it. if you want to see me doing dumb thing like this just say okay so thank you very much for watching and uh, we see you tomorrow okay bye guys bye bye oh my god today oh <laughs>